So I'm Mike, uh, I'm the lead artist on Binocle Heroes. Uh, as lead artist on Binocle Heroes is to basically oversee the whole, the whole art team, coordinate it all, um, specifically dealing with levels. Uh, we have a guy who creates the actual uh, the style of the levels, the actual look of the levels. He's kind of in control of that. I suppose my role in that is to make sure that that, that vision that he's got is uh, distributed throughout the game by looking at other games um, on all consoles, all platforms uh, for inspiration, looking at the Bionicle universe as well as the main inspiration because obviously uh, we want to make it as accurate to the Bionicle universe as we can. Um, creating the characters for Bionicle is a process of our, our character artist um, taking taking reference from Bionicle and basically modelling them in his 3D in the 3D software, um, creating them as accurately as he can. So, if someone wanted to uh, become a games artist, uh, the the thing that I'd definitely say to do is first and foremost, you, you want to play games, play as many games as you can on all consoles. Um, don't be specific about the types of games you play. Get a really good background in, in what actually what what makes a good looking game. Basically, there's, there's so many points of reference that you can use these days with the internet. You can there's, there's forums and stuff where you can you can take tutorials on the 3D software that you're going to use. Just practice as well. Just practice. Try, try building characters, try building levels um, based on what you see in the games, you know, try, just try, see if you can do it. Creating the, the character, the player character, um, the Toa, uh, the hero of the game, that, that is a process of building uh, a 3D model from the reference, from the toy itself, uh, making it as accurate as possible so that it looks like the toy, so it's not, you know, so the, the fans of the Binocle toy know that it's that character uh, and it's going to look great on, in the game, they're going to be satisfied with that. Then it's a case of animating it. We're games players as well as, as, as games creators as well, so we know what, what looks good. You know, we, we're trying to find, make the best looking game we can. And we've actually used the, the pieces of Binacle, like a, a, an arm, and we've supersized them uh, in the level. So we're actually creating structures in the environments from the actual Binacle pieces themselves. The Binacle toys themselves are actually quite intricate. There's a lot of detail in the actual physical toys and getting them into the game was quite a challenge um, because we've got certain limitations that we, that we have to have to stick to in terms of poly counts um, and that was quite a challenge getting the toys to look as accurate as possible without upping the poly count too much so that the game you know the consoles couldn't actually handle it and to do that we've just got really good character modelers. The expectations from the fans of Bionicle are very high they've got high standards which have been set by the Bionicle franchise itself and it's a challenge that we, we've, we've thrived on really. The best thing for me working on Bionicle Heroes was seeing a great set of ideas come together to create this, this one single idea really, one single game, uh, which I think fans of Bionicle and just general gamers are going to love when they see it. I'm really proud to have, to have been working on it, really proud of the team and what we've achieved.